Every part in the city of Philadelphia is pretty rough, you know. Three or four blocks in the wrong direction, it'll get a little crazy. I think it's no coincidence that some of the best fighters come from poverty. What I went through growing up gave me the drive. I grew up in West Philadelphia, you know what I mean? It was normal for us to see drug dealers and see cops flooding the block and guys getting shot. Hang with one wrong person or you make a left when you should have went right and your life is like changed for the next 20 or 30 years. It's, it's pretty tough, but going to that gym every day, man, that two, three hours a day keep you out of a lot of stuff. People don't realize it. Go to school, by the time I get back home, it's time to go to the gym. You know, I get home, I'm tired. Them three hours a day keep you out of a lot of trouble. Things got tough, man, you know? It's, you're only making $1,000 a fight when you first start out. You know, he almost went back to school. He said, I'm about to start taking some classes. I mean, I thought he was gonna quit boxing. I said, man, you can't quit boxing. Man, you fight too good, just, just stick with it. I said, this is your degree. You got a degree in, in, in fighting, you know? It becomes stressful when a young guy, you're trying to find your way in the world. Those were the roughest times, but he always remained constant as far as me, him, and the gym. Me, him, in the gym. Me, him, in the track. Me, him, in the gym. Julian J. Rock Williams. I think he's going to be the unified junior middleweight champion of the world. But it's not going to be easy, so we're going to have to make all of our fights count. I take pride in the history of Philadelphia boxing and building my own legacy. 25 years from now, when guys are mentioning Benny Briscoe and Meldrick Teller and fighters like that, I want them to mention Julian Williams.